Hey guys, I wanted to go over some design tips and build tips for a, a steady cam. There's plenty of steady cam videos out on YouTube. These are just a few things that I learned while building mine over the last week or so. Um, I, I've taken a lot of designs from other, other guys, so that I don't want to take credit for their work, but just a couple things. Um, I used three quarter inch PVC, CPVC actually, um, because it fits a, a bicycle grip perfectly. Um, most of these parts I had, so that's what I started out with. Um, just a three quarter inch piece of CPVC, um, a coupler, and inside you use six by 22 by seven bearings. They're about five to seven dollars each. Um, I couldn't find these locally, so I had to order them. Uh, they sit on a Traxxas U joint, like a lot of guys are using. Um, but I used a, a Traxxas um, stub axle for a T Max 2.5. As close as I can tell, this is probably part number 4953. Um, you can see all the exploded views and, and parts on Traxxas's website. It already has this uh, steel shaft on it with, with, uh, with threads and everything. So um, the 6x22x7 by by bearings just fit perfectly on there. Um, the bearings fit pretty tightly in the in the CPVC, the three quarter inch, but uh, put a little little packing tape on there, and they fit really tight, so it, you don't have to fix them in there or anything. Um, I started off wanting to make a uh, uh, as light of a rig as possible, but that didn't really didn't really work out that well. Um, you end up wanting to have some mass to keep it from uh, swinging too much. Um, I used this round aluminum round bar because uh, I wanted to keep it light and that's what I had on hand. I would not use round bar again if, if, it, were, if it were my choice. It's, it's hard to bend um, straight and it's hard to, to drill straight. Um, it's harder to attach your, your weights to, so I would just advise using flat bar. Um, when I started, I wanted it really small, so I built a platform that was about half this size and with no weight on the rear, uh, only the GoPro. That didn't work out well because uh, I found that you need weight in the front and you need it in the back. That, that combats uh, rotation of the rig when you're, when you're building it. Um, uh, you also need, you try to, po try to position the camera directly above the pivot point. Um, and then also put your, your weight, uh, your counterweight to the bottom directly, directly below your handle, your pivot point. Um, that way you can you can balance balance the upper part with their your weights behind the GoPro and then you can add and subtract weight off the front of the rig. Um, that's really about it. It was hard for me to figure out, but the most important thing is that you really want weight on the the back and the front so that you can prevent rotation. Um, the the grip is just a, a clamp-on style uh, mountain bike grip. Um, you don't necessarily have to have clamp-on style, but I had that on hand, and, and they work well for, for coming on and off. But um, that's about it. Just, just a couple of things that I had not figured out from, from other, other videos.